Get rid of Indian meal moths and larvae. Indian meal moths are one of the most common pantry pests found in homes. They can infest foods very quickly, but you can get rid of Indian meal moths without hiring a professional. In fact, you can do a better job than a pest control professional, because it is your D efforts, not insecticides, that will get rid of the moths for good. To effectively control Indian meal moths, it is important that you first properly identify them. Once you've confirmed it is moths or their larvae, and not other pantry pests like weevils, follow a simple six-step process to rid your home of these hungry critters. 1. Inspect the food for moths. Inspect all pantry foods for evidence of Indian meal moth presence. Signs include tiny white worms with black heads, sticky webbing over food or packaging, cast skins and frass, fecal droppings, in and around food. 2. Clear out the pantry. Remove all foods from the pantry, kitchen cupboards, and anywhere else food is stored, then check on shelving, in corners, in cracks, and around the floor for signs of pest presence. 3. Inspect each food item. Check every food package for worms, webbing, and other signs. Pay particular attention to foods that have sat on shelves for any length of time. Foods that aren't thin or loosely sealed packaging. Packages with holes, tears, or other damage. Bagged or boxed dog and cat foods. Any foods that have evidence of the pest must be discarded outside the home or treated. 4. Treat or discard infested foods. Treat foods with evidence of infestation using cold or heat to kill all legs or larvae that may be present. First spread out the food in a thin layer. To treat it by freezing, put the items into your freezer for a minimum of three days. Alternate cold and warm temperatures. Put the item in the freezer for two days, take out and leave at room temperature for two days, then put back in the freezer for two additional days. To treat using heat, put the food into the oven at 140 degrees Fahrenheit for 1 hour, or at 120 degrees Fahrenheit for 2 hours. Stir the food periodically, to ensure the heat penetrates it fully, and to prevent burning. Alternatively, you can microwave the food for 5 minutes. To kill pests on the outside of foods such as dried fruits, put them into a cheesecloth bag, and submerge the bag in boiling water for 10 seconds. Treated food can be eaten, after all insect fragments are removed, or it can be used to feed birds. However, it may be just as easy to discard the food, if it is a small amount. 5. Clean the pantry. Thoroughly vacuum all surfaces of your pantry, including the shelves and floor. Be sure to get into corners and cracks. Do the same with all food storage and cooking areas near the pantry and in the kitchen, such as the kitchen floors, countertops, and cabinets, as well as behind and under the stove, refrigerator, and other appliances. 6. Keep food sealed. For at least the next month, keep all stored food in tightly sealed containers or store it in the refrigerator or freezer to ensure that the infestation is completely eliminated. Be sure the containers are insect-resistant, such as thick plastic or metal containers with tightly fitted lids. When practical, buy foods in quantities that you will use up quickly or store excess in the refrigerator or freezer. Prevent future infestations by keeping the pantry and other food areas clean and free of crumbs and loose foods. Clean up all spills immediately. Also, store pet foods, bird seed, and similar items in buildings separate from the house or in basement areas well away from other foods. Professional Treatment for Indian Meal Moths Professional treatment is not needed or recommended for Indian meal moth control. This is because insecticides should not be used in or around foods, and spraying of even emptied areas will do little if they are not cleaned out. If you do choose to use an insecticide, use only a product that is labeled for crack and crevice treatment in food areas, and use it only as directed. 
Insecticides can never be applied to foods or surfaces, utensils, or other items that may contact food. Carefully read and follow all label directions.